The liver is actually the second largest organ in the body and works similar to an oil filter on a car. What it does is one of its jobs is to filter out waste and toxins out of the body. It also helps absorb nutrients and, and it creates proteins which do a lot of wonderful, wonderful things. Now our body is made up of billions of cells. These, con these cells are constantly uh, duplicating themselves and dying. In fact, your skin cells, we lose about 40,000 skin cells every minute. It's a lot. Now, smart people aren't exactly sure how cancer develops, but they all agree it has to do with a damaged cell. Now, what they what happens is, sure, a few abnormal cells are a little bit oddballs, the weird, the weird ones we can manage. The immune system can manage those. But when these weird cells start to grow out of control, that's when can that's that's cancer, okay? And it develops and it, it's horrible. Now, the liver breaks down red blood cells and creates something called the bilirubin. This bilirubin stuff gives stools their brown color. So if the liver isn't working correctly, the liver starts to fail in producing this bilirubin stuff. And what occurs is stools give off like a white chalky type of color. And not the brown, which is the healthy stuff. So that's one of the symptoms that you could be looking for in liver cancer. Now the liver also has a job of creating something called bile salts which assists with digestion. Now within the liver, if the pathways become blocked with cancerous cells and the salt enters the bloodstream, uh, next it kind of turns someone's skin and eyes like a yellowish golden color. Okay, It also can be like kind of itchy. It's another symptom and uh, can create like a an enlargement in the lower legs. Swelling look. Now as toxins accumulate in your system, person could experience general weakness and fatigue as if the, the human body is battling with it, um, as well as a feeling of wanting to vomit and throw up to eliminate whatever the toxins are. There could be some, of course, some stomach pains, um, having a loss of appetite, don't want to eat really, um, and of course, uh, some losing some weight. These are all common symptoms. Now, one of the biggest risk factors to getting uh, liver cancer is, is, of course, with alcohol, since the whole alcohol's job is to remove um, basically toxins and alcohol from someone's system. The liver actually has these enzymes that break down the alcohol. Now the cells can only process cer a certain amount of alcohol per minute. And there's too much, the liver gets damaged. Just like if you overloaded your computer with too much electricity. Now another awesome thing someone could do is of course we stop smoking, which is a huge risk factor not only uh, of uh, lung cancer but also liver cancer too because it gets in the bloodstream. Lastly, besides living a healthy life, there's a whole bunch of herbs out there, herbal remedies that can really help somebody um, reduce their chance of this, improve their immune system, and really help with cell health. Like a good multivitamin has vitamins that you need for cell health. And if you're not getting these in your food, which most people don't, then you're going to become deficient in it, and it's going to hurt you. Another one which is great is COQ10, which does a lot of great stuff for health, cells, cell health. Helps with the, the, mem the membranes, the barriers, the energy supply can really reduce the chance of getting cancer. Now, before you go out and start purchasing a bunch of dietary supplements to really help your health, it's important to know and to realize the dangers with them. The fact is that in many countries, including the United States, manufacturers of supplements don't have to prove their product is safe before selling it to the masses. They don't have to list any negative side effects. Now, to do this, right now, there's supplements out there that are, that are very dangerous for people to being sold. and it's hard to tell. The million dollar question is how, you, how can you identify these harmful products out there before you buy them? Since most products say the same thing, it's not easy. Now to make your life a little bit easier, because I'm sure you're a busy person, I've actually designed a, a guide that I feel can really help somebody in the whole process of going out there and choosing and buying dietary supplements. It goes over how to identify a good product from a, a risky product, a couple of warning signs, red flags to look out for goes over various herbal remedies to consider, what to use them for different uh, different medical conditions, talks about uh, how government laws re help regulate the industry, and protect us, which is fascinating, and plus some online resources too to make things easy, even easier. Um, the best part is completely free, so you won't, have, you won't have a whole lot to lose. And to check it out, all I gotta do is simply click on the link uh, right below this video that I made you. 
Well, I hope I hope a few people out there. I really appreciate your time. Have a great rest of your day. Don't work too hard, and uh, take care of yourself. Okay, bye.